Hello everyone, my name is Dustin and welcome back to the Planner Beginners tutorial. This is the fourth video in this series. If you've missed any of the previous videos, I recommend watching them before starting this one. You will find the links to those videos below. So far, we have learned to measure the room perimeter, build walls, add fully measured doors and windows, take beautiful AR photos, save your project, and then upload them to the Planner Portal. The next thing we will learn to do is how to navigate the Planner Portal and the great features that are a part of our entire suite of products. For this tutorial, we will work on our cloud-based Planner Portal. You can access the web portal from your phone, tablet, or desktop. Today, we are working on the desktop version for this video. To access the Planner Portal, open up the email you were sent confirming your successful upload that we highlighted in the last video. There, you will see your project just like the one we have here. Simply click on your project to view it. Now that you're in the project, you can see all the information captured with Planner. The top left of the page gives you all the measurement totals of your space, including the perimeter, area, doors, windows, and total number of rooms. And on the right, the location is based on Google Maps through Apple's location services that we used in the last tutorial. The next section is our 3D model that you created using Planner. If you had multiple rooms, like this project, each room has its own individual model. In the model viewer, you can move the image around to look at all the measurements and the space. Simply click and drag. By clicking the blue box in the top right corner, you can expand the viewer to full screen. In the model, you will notice little blue cameras. These are the AR enhanced photos that you took in the last tutorial. You will notice that as you move around the model on the left side of the screen and hover over the cameras, the photos on the right will move to that camera as we detect geospatial targeting using Planner. If you use CAD software or other types of software that accept 3D models, you can export your room to up to nine different file formats. The next great feature about the Planner Portal is the ability to export the entire project to a beautiful PDF. You can even compile all the AR enhanced photos into a zip file along with your report should you need. Let's take a look at the PDF. You can see that our new PDF has all the features of the Planner Portal now in print form. This is a project overview, complete room measurement totals, all of the 2D models with each measurement you took, and the AR enhanced photos are there for you to view as well within the PDF. You have now completed the Planner Beginners tutorial series. By viewing all the videos in this series, you should feel comfortable with the basics of using Planner to build real-time 3D models of your space. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for even more Planner tips and tricks and to find out more information on Planner, you can visit www.planner.co or click the link in the information. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the alerts button to get all the latest updates from Planner.